All right, today we have an A1278 MacBook. This A1278 MacBook has no power. Let's open up this MacBook and figure out what's going on with it. It's another MacBook that's been chosen at random. So this MacBook is not turning on. This is an ancient A20-3115 board. A dual core Ivy Bridge CPU. So we're gonna, now we have a light in the charger, which means our PP3v42 is present, as can be seen here. But is our PP bus present? It is. Is our PP5ES5 present? It appears to be. Now the next question is PP5ES3 present? And it's not. PP5ES3 is not present. Hmm. Wonder if PP5ES3 is a short to ground. It's always possible PP5ES3 is a short circuit to ground, which could be keeping it from working. And look, it does have a short circuit to ground that's keeping it from working. So what we did here is we started going through our main power rails. We went through our uh, PP bus G3 hot, our PP3V42, PP5ES5, and then we went to PP5ES3. So if I open up the schematic in the board view for this board, you'll be able to get an idea of what it is that I was looking at when I was looking at these, these lovely things here. So if I open up the schematic in the board view and I go to page 7 on this one, you're going to see that we have a list of rails, and I was measuring them one by one by one. So we checked for our PP bus. G3 hot, it says over here it's supposed to be 12.8, it was 12.6, close enough. We checked PP3V42, we checked the voltage there, it was 3.3, close enough. PP5ES5, we checked for that, it was where it was supposed to be. Then we checked for PP5ES3. PP5ES3 is going to show up on this capacitor over here, and it wasn't showing up. So then what we did is we tried to figure out if we had a short to ground, so we d I just went to that area, to that capacitor. I have no power plugged into the board. As you can see here, 0.4 ohm short to ground, and I'm using resistance mode. So that means that there is a short circuit to ground that we're going to have to find in this MacBook. So I'm just going to take this MacBook out of the case, and we are going to get started troubleshooting and figuring out what it is that is shorting our power rail to ground. You all excited, folks? Hope you're all excited that we're going to fix yet another MacBook. Because that's what we do here on this channel, is we fix MacBooks. So we're going to lower my power supply down to 5 volts, maybe even just 1 volt, and output that into where I think the short circuit is. According to the schematic and board view, PP5ES3 is right here. Alright, we're using 5 amps at 1.9 volts. So this is a short that should be fairly obvious to find. Now, as you all know, I'm in the front of the store, not the back of the store, and the thermal camera is in the back of the store. And so that means that I would have to walk to the back of the store in order to use the thermal camera to find shorts, and that is absolutely not worth that proposition. Like, if I have to walk, if I have to do any sort of work of any kind, I'm not doing it. Fuck yeah! Not doing it. So we're going to try to find the short circuit using alcohol, which I do have here in the front of the store. And if I can find the short circuit using alcohol, then I can show you how to do this without having to spend money on a thermal camera, which I think is way too much money for this profession, given how proficient one can be with alcohol. Okay, so... Tim Herman of TCRS Circuit said that the short is most likely near the audio circuit. And I want to show you just how high quality the advice that you can get by going to tcrscircuit.repair slash contact dash us. That's tcrscircuit.repair slash contact dash us is if you need free advice on how to fix your own motherboard. If you take a look at this board and we take a look at the audio chip, you'll notice that the melting is happening right by the audio IC, which means that he was indeed correct. Wow, look at that. Imagine that. This is, the qu again, the quality of free help that you will get from Tim Herman is utterly amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, folks, I'm telling you, this kid is talented. He knew what was wrong with my board. What we're going to do now is we're going to remove that cap. And let's just take a look at it on the schematic and board view while waiting for my hot air to get, uh, get heated up. So it looks like it's this cap over here, which is a long PP5 ES3. See this? C6213. That is on P has one leg on PP5ES3, one leg on ground. That capacitor is able to short circuit to ground. It, if it fails, it is able to send all the 5 volts to ground. So we are going to remove that. And then this is going to work great again, isn't it? 
Now, isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we couldn't have done it without free help from Tim at tcrscircuit.repair slash contact dash us. Don't delay. Contact him for free help on how to fix your board today. This cap doesn't look bad either. So it, it really would trick you. Look at that. There's nothing, you know, there's no solder ball next to it. There's no discoloration. There's no slash on it or anything. You didn't take a rest after the all-nighter. What a... Rest? Are you crazy? There are MacBooks that need to be fixed. There are many MacBooks that need to be fixed. So, as we can see here... Look at that, look at that, look at that! Fan spin! So we had a short circuit on PP5ES3. We removed the short circuit. We found that short circuit by injecting a volt into the board, pouring alcohol on it, and seeing what gets hot. Very high-tech methodology here that we use at Rossman Group, but it does work, it is fast, it is efficient, and it is cheap, and mo above all, it is easily replicable at home by people who do not have super expensive equipment, which is what I'm trying to get across, that you don't need to have the highest end setup to get stuff done. Just gotta use your brain a little bit. And if you use your brain, you can make the fan spin. That's all I want, is to see that fan spin. And if you can do that, then you too can fix a MacBook. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. With that, we move on to the next MacBook. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? Come by our store, which is open to the public at 186 First Avenue in Manhattan. Are you located outside of New York? No problem. Send us a machine from anywhere in the world by going to our website and clicking on the mailbox or simply heading over to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com where you'll be redirected to our mail-in instructions page that includes the form and the directions on how to send us a MacBook for repair. We have a live chat where you can speak with us about the repair that you need, a phone number where a representative will pick up during our open hours, and a contact form where you can contact us about repairs.